Yes guys, what's going on? Welcome to Stretford Paddock. I am Adam McCola. This is Gazetta United. We are back with the newspapers and a coffee to have a look at just what is going on in the footballing world at this moment in time. Obviously, it's Champions League final weekend. Bayern Munich against Paris Saint-Germain. But that is not the big story that we are looking at at this moment in time because our captain, Big H, Harry Maguire, is on the front and back pages, as we see here on the mirror, saying Harry's 90K get out of jail card. And we'll be getting all the latest on Harry Maguire's arrest over there in Greece, um, although he has been released and heading back to England. We'll get all the latest on that, as well as all the latest on the actual football stuff, which is on those back pages, including don't sign Messi, Pep. What a strange, strange statement to make to any football manager. If you can sign Messi, surely you sign Messi. Then we've got a bit about Jadon Sancho as well, where United could potentially be waiting a year to sign Sancho. So we'll be looking at all of that. We've got a couple of newspapers. We've got a coffee. We've got you lot here. So make sure you're keeping it locked. You're liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing to Stretford Paddock as well because we have so much more content coming your way. Now let me have a sip of my coffee and we'll get stuck into this. Right then. Harry's 90K get out of jail card. Harry Maguire could buy his way out of any jail term over a Greek brawl for 90,000 pound it emerged yesterday. The England star could face three years, though he denies a guilt over a melee on Mykonos. It was claimed a brawl started after his sister Daisy was stabbed. Greek law allows some jail terms to be paid off, saying Maguire can pay a fee to avoid jail. Now, when you hear about his sister getting stabbed, people approaching his group, chanting abuse, doing this, doing that, you can see how this, this situation has clearly escalated. Now, it's not ideal, for Harry Maguire to be caught up in these situations. But I think we definitely have to wait before we start judging him. A lot of people talk about what would the media reaction be to Paul Pogba being caught up in this situation. And I agree with you, the media reaction to that would be 10 times worse if it was Paul Pogba than say if it's Harry Maguire. We know that, we know the differences in the way the media work and how they treat different types of players um, and different races of players and all those kind of things. But us as fans, whilst it's great to point that out, it shouldn't then mean that us as fans lay into Harry Maguire with the same treatment that we'd criticise the media for using against another one of our players. We shouldn't do that. We should wait to see what comes out, what is said. And if this is true, like most people would probably get involved in that situation. So we have to wait and see what is the truth, what isn't the truth. Obviously, there's some things like bribery and all these kind of things and assault on an officer and all these kind of other things that have coming up out of it as well. But we don't know what's true. We don't know what Harry Maguire is guilty of. It could have been other people in his party. We've all seen incidences that happen on nights out at home and abroad. Um, and whilst it's not ideal, I think we should wait before rushing to judgment. Um, the, the, the story here though is he is facing jail or a sentence, but that could be um, overturned with a few days pay, um, which is probably, you know, he's not gonna end up in jail. He probably won't even have to appear in court now. He can probably do that via his lawyers, although there are court dates set up and stuff like that. So let's get now onto the back pages, the sports, the real stuff that we wanna talk about. Don't sign messy pep is what, Who's telling them this? Owen Hargreaves. Yes, now we know. Now we know. Now we know. He's trying to say, yo, don't see, don't sign one of the best players ever, if not the best player ever. Just relax, yeah. But he says, Man City do not need Barcelona legend Lionel Messi. They need the new Vincent company. If you can get Messi, you get Messi. Um, United to wait a year for Sancho. Man United are ready to put their bid to sign Jadon Sancho on hold for a year. United are unwilling to meet Borussia Dortmund's £108 million asking price for the winger with wages and agent fees adding another 100 million to the deal. Old Trafford Chiefs feel Dortmund's valuation is unrealistic in the aftermath of the coronavirus crisis. Now, what I don't get about, first of all guys, this story is from Simon Muller, the same guy who said Pogba and Marshall were injured based on a on a on um, like a fake account tweeting it. So that shows you the, the length of his journalism. It's not great, do you know what I mean? Um, it's not even girthy, but, Ali waiting a year for Sancho, 
Does it make sense? Because surely next year his price is bigger, more teams can compete for him, um, he might have an even better season in the Bundesliga. Like, the price isn't going to go down. How much do you think this is going to go down to? Like, it doesn't make sense. So, for me, United have to get him now or pretty much probably never um, because a lot more teams will be coming in for him. You never know where we end up next season. Do we end up outside the Champions League spots? Then, you know, and this signing is so important for United. When you look at what we needed in the squad, yes, you have to have other players lined up. Yes, you have to have, you know, alternatives. But at the same time, we've known we want Jadon Sancho. He's already agreed terms to come to Manchester United and we're fannying around over a deal. We knew the price. The price was higher last year. So what makes us think, you know, after the coronavirus, after teams have got fans back in the door, after all those kind of things, that the price is going to go down. I just think it's unrealistic and it shows you that Manchester United um, are, are doing a lot of dilly-dallying. But at the same time, we've not really heard anything serious at the moment. So it could be that negotiations are underway and we might hear something soon, but I wouldn't hold my breath. I wouldn't hold my breath at all. A little bit on the Champions League final in here as well, but that's from Robbie Fowler, who wants to hear from him. Um, name more questions. Brazilian is a class act and PSG front three will be a real handful for Bayern Munich. Um, I absolutely love Neymar. I think he's class. Um, and I think some of the criticism that he gets is a little bit of a joke, to be honest with you. But, um, yeah, I think he's going to turn it on in this Champions League final. Bayern Munich, obviously the favourites, but you can't see Neymar and Mbappe not turning up. Which, if they do, I think they can get out of that Bayern defence. Um, but Bayern can get out of their defence too. It's going to be a great final. Um, Hargreaves is saying the Sancho deal isn't dead. Dortmund are a selling club and will have his replacement ready and want cash. So Owen Hargreaves there having a little dig at Borussia Dortmund saying they're just bluffing. They're not going to keep a hold of him. They are absolutely just bluffing. So there you have that one there. We've got that newspaper done. And yet, Owen Hargreaves, well done, lad. Getting that message across the city. Don't sign Messi. Don't sign Messi. Here we go with the Express. Not guilty, Harry out of custody. So Harry is out of custody. He has pleaded not guilty to charges relating to an alleged altercation in Greece. Maguire was on holiday with family and friends when he was arrested in the early hours of Friday along with two other Britons following an alleged incident. He appeared in court on the neighbouring island of Syros yesterday morning. The 27-year-old England international declined to answer questions as he left the hearing and will now leave Greece after the case was adjourned for three days. It is understood Maguire is facing a misdemeanor charge and does not have to attend Tuesday's hearing. Following the appearance in court today, um, this is what United have said, we note the adjournment of the case to allow the legal team to consider the case file. Harry has pleaded not guilty to the charges. It would be inappropriate for the player to, or club to comment further while the legal process is taking its course, which is obviously um, common sense. Anyway, they say Maguire is fully cooperating with the Greek authorities um, and we just have to wait and see how this one plays out. But I doubt it's going to end up with Maguire behind bars. It's just not going to happen. Um, <clears throat> Owen Hargreaves' headlines again about Sancho, saying Sancho can put United back at the top if they break the bank. But again, obviously, we've seen that report in the mirror saying United were going to wait a year. I can't see that one being the case, although it just wouldn't surprise me. But that journalist is so shit that, you know, I can't take anything he says seriously. Martial is feeling the benefits of his focused fitness drive. Uh, we got some quotes from... Anthony Martial here. Anthony Martial has revealed his increased fitness levels have helped him take his game to the highest level. He's been criticised for his, in the past for his languid approach. But after chats with Solskjaer, he is now fitter, stronger and Man United's first line of defence. My job or aim is to score goals and when I don't have the ball, it's to be the first defender, meaning I have to press and close down. Uh, it's something we work on in training. We've also worked hard on my fitness. I put in some great work with the coaching staff. Now I want to make sure I continue in the same order, same vein in order to be even better for next season. He says he doesn't have a rivalry. He says it's healthy competition with Marcus Rashford. It doesn't drive us on, not especially because we just try to help each other out. For example, there are some games where maybe a shot is on and I wait and see and I give him the ball because I want him to score and he does the same thing for me. So obviously, Anthony Martial loves spending time with um, Marcus Rashford. We've got another story here which says Barcelona have been told it will cost them £143 million if they want to sign Richarlison. 
Wouldn't surprise me given their transfer policy, but 143 million pounds for Richarlison. Gotta be having a laugh. Anyway, guys, that has been some of the back pages, some of the news surrounding the world of football as well. Uh, let us know what you're thinking about everything. Is Jaden Sancho off for another year? Is Harry Maguire gonna get locked up? Probably not. Um, and what do you make of that? Um, and obviously, everything else that we discussed. Get your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you like and comment, share, and subscribe. I've been Adam McCola. I'm out of here.